How are we doing, everybody? This is Ryan Fitzgerald, and we're here at the NFA Outdoor National Championships. Uh, we're here stand, standing next to Jesse Broadwater, and this is our Feather Visions What's the Pro Shooting segment. And Jeff, Jesse has had a phenomenal year for the NFA circuit, uh, as well as the, the, the FETA shoots, and uh, did a little pro archery series and won one of those this year, and I know you're going to be back out there. We're getting some questions on Facebook. People just want to know, what's your setup? Uh, so kind of run us through what you're shooting for the outdoors this year. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I shoot pretty much the same setup for indoors and outdoors. Um, but first of all, we've got uh, Hoyt Pro Comp Elite uh, with spiral cams. Um, been shooting really good, having pretty good luck with this bow this year. It seems like, you know, whenever I got it dialed, it's, you know, the most accurate bow that I've ever shot. So, um, How many pounds are you running that at? Uh, about 104. But, uh, no, 60 pounds. And... Uh, I have uh, the AAE Freak Show Rest uh, with an 8,000 splay. That's what I shoot um, for the Pro Tours. Um, the, my Pro Tours weigh about 350, so um, 8,000 splayed. Um, got uh, True Ball Sight, the new Achieve Sight, which is awesome. i uh, been having really good luck with it this year. It you know, slides nice. The clicks are good and accurate and everything. Um, uh, CR scope with a feather vision lens, and this is a .62 diopter, which is about a five power. Um, I just have a little uh, black dot in it with a little white speck in the middle. Um, I've been shooting that for you know most of the field stuff and everything. The feta stuff I shoot you know like a four power with a little bit bigger dot. Um, I think it's pretty critical to have the right field of view and the right um, the right size dot for whatever you're shooting. So you kind of got to play around with you know, something that you're comfortable with there. But um how's your what peep side are you running to line that up? Uh it's a specialty peep with a three sixty force aperture in it. Um and it clears up the this the feather vision five power really nice. I mean you don't have to shoot a clarifier with it, which is nice for outside, you know, because with a clarifier sometimes you get glare and if it rains, you know, it fogs up and stuff. So that's that. Uh got the AAE um, hot rod stabilizers, which have been working really good. This is actually just a prototype. I have um, like a generation three bar that um, is is really really good, but I I don't quite have the right length on it yet. So that's what, what I. Is that one? This is about a 27 here, okay. and uh, got about eight ounces out front, running a eight inch in the back um, with around uh, 12 ounces right now. Um, Got, uh, kind of walk me through your air, pull one of your arrows out. Kind of walk yeah. me through what you got there. What is, what's your point weight? What kind of veins you got? Yep, Eastern Pro Tour 470, uh, 120 grain point. Uh, the AAE uh, two inch veins, um, really good. I mean, I've I've had excellent luck with this arrow. You know, the wind and stuff, just it just blasts right through the wind. Shoots really good. You know, for field round and stuff like that. So had really good luck with them for years in the past and. Uh, Having good luck again with them this year, so really good arrow. Um, and a release. Release. It's in here somewhere. Uh, it's a True Ball BT Gold. Um, three fingers, got a click in it. I've been shooting a click ever since I switched to uh, three fingers, so just kind of use the click as like a, not necessarily a safety, but just like a um, consistent starting point each time. So I'll just draw back, and it'll basically get to the click before I start aiming or anything, and then that way I know that I'm starting in the same spot every time. So it's brass. I like, the, you know, the feel of the heavier brass, you know. Okay. I noticed you put a little bit of tape on there. Is that just for a, a personal preference feel thing? Yeah. It, um, the brass sometimes, if your hands get sweaty, gets a little bit slippery. So this is actually just hockey tape uh, wrapped on there, and I replace it, you know, almost every couple rounds that I shoot just to keep, you know, the grippiness up on it. So that's that. Uh, as far as strings go, I know you make your own strings, but kind of talk to us about what material you use. Yeah, either 452X or uh, trophy material. And um, I think strings are a pretty critical part, you know, of your setup. Um, you know, a, definitely a good pre-stretch set um, with the right serving diameters and everything is, is I think, a huge advantage. Um, I think having the right knock fit, you know, is, is pretty crucial. And I like my knocks to fit, you know, a little bit probably a little bit looser than most people you know they they snap on and you know they, they move freely and even rock back and forth a little bit I just think you get a lot more consistent you know knock you know snapping on and off the string that way um, the the cable so it's 24 strand on the string and then 28 on the cables 
and uh, run the cables a little bit thicker just to get the holding weight up a little bit more. I shoot about 22 pounds of holding weight, 60 pounds. So um, that's about it as far as that goes. Is, that, is this pretty much the same type of setup that you ran with uh, in your epic performance that you had at Reading with the record there? Yeah, same, pretty much exactly the same thing, yep. Okay, so it's obviously, you know, between Reading and this type of setup, you know, you're bulletproof all the way from just a couple feet all the way out to 101 yards. Pretty much. I was actually shooting uh, with a peep height that I shoot. I, I shoot a, a pretty good, you know, peep height. It's like five and three quarter at rest. So I can actually get out to like 150 yards. And before I came here, I was shooting, you know, I just, I love shooting distance. So I was shooting at 150 yards and it's amazing how accurate, you know, a bow can be at 150 yards. I mean, if there's no wind and, you know, you make good shots, it's, I mean, it packs them right in there. So that was pretty interesting to see. But, um, uh, running, I got the loophole, you know, optics, which are awesome. This little range finder right here has saved my butt hundreds of times. I did have mentioned about that a little bit. I had a lot of guys actually talking about that on the range of all the range finders they use. They were real happy with that one. Somebody, a couple of guys brought that up actually today. Which one is that? Yeah, it's the RX 1000 uh, with DNA. Um, and I, I mean, I trust this thing. I've checked it numerous times with a tape, and it's dead on. Uh, the inclinometer in it is dead on, reads the, the degrees right on and everything. So pretty much trust that thing with my life. And when I went over to Germany, you know, they had extreme up and down hills. And, I mean, this this thing definitely saved me over there. So okay. that's an awesome little piece of equipment there. Um, their optics are real good. Um, these are the BK4 McKinley's, uh, 10 by 40s. So they, they're really nice and clear, gather a lot of light. So... Okay. And then there's just there's only one last thing I want to talk about on your setup that, that looks pretty important, and I don't want to leave this out before we let all the fans go, and that would be uh, your little finger sling you got going on there. Yeah, you know, kind of like a matching theme going on here with the pink and blue, and it's it's gone back to, you know, something I, I try to do like every year. I start of the year, I'll try to find something to do to, you know, you know, let the kids know at home that I'm thinking about them and stuff. So, you know, there's... Uh, two girls and a boy at home, so the pinks for the girls and the blues for the boys. And I just kind of, you know, I got the shoelaces and just kind of always add things here and there, you know. They kind of get tired of seeing shoelaces, so I add another thing when I go. And before I leave, I show them, and they're like, oh, yeah, it's cool. But yeah, it's just, you know, not that I need reminded of them, but it reminds me of them. And then when they see pictures or videos like this, you know, they kind of, you know, they kind of realize that I'm thinking about them. And especially when they get older, it'll be pretty neat for them to see, you know, let them know that I, how much I think about them. So that's what I Well, good for you, man. We really appreciate taking the time, and I hope that answers a lot of the questions to the fans out there that were curious to know what Jesse runs as far as his setup is. And uh, great NFAA year. Obviously, we'll, uh, none of us will ever forget uh, Reading this year with one of the most epic rounds in the history of archery. And I think a lot of people have basically said that, come to that conclusion. So good job, and we'll see you next year on the tour, man. All right, thanks a lot. Thanks for covering everything, too. Thank you.